As I mentioned in my video about the golden path in Tunic, this special save file created for figuring out the puzzle on page 9 of the manual hides an even bigger secret. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's outline the method for uncovering this save file. Pages 8 and 9 of the manual can be found here during the initial nighttime segment of the game. Once obtained, all we have to do to unlock the dev save is to go to the load game screen and cancel to go back to the main menu, and then back into the load game screen. Now the dev file will appear, with nearly 1000 hours played and a large amount of gold. We're just going to go ahead and load that up. In this unique location is the solution to part of the golden path puzzle, but that's not why we're here. Instead, input the code for a firebomb. Left, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, left. Now, equip that firebomb and set yourself on fire with it, making sure not to roll. Doing so will extinguish the fire and make accessing this secret impossible on this save. So just sit here in one place and wait for the inevitability of death. It takes a little while with this much HP, but just be patient. And now we awaken to an unfamiliar sight. Welcome to the dev world. We're not yet sure if this is just a sort of easter egg, or if it contains deeper secrets of its own, or if it provides hints to other undiscovered secrets. What we do know is that despite it being a seemingly unfinished version of the game, it contains some very interesting things not seen anywhere else. So now, I'm just going to give us a short tour of these interesting things, beginning from our little house here, where we can rest to pass the day. From here, we're going to head up this ramp to the northwest as we make our way to, bar none, the most interesting thing contained in this entire hidden world. At the top of the staircase, in front of a small pool, we have the Triumvirate mural, which reads above Explorer, below Triumvirate, and in the central hexagons clockwise from top, Reason, Grace, and Power. A triumvirate is a group of three people holding power, which dates back to ancient Rome with Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus. So this mural could be telling us to explore and encounter the triumvirate of Siege Engine, Librarian, and Boss Scavenger guarding the three keys. Or the triumvirate might be the keys themselves, since it's they that hold the power to imprison the air. Anyway, leaving here, we're gonna head back down south and then to the right, which will take us past some familiar enemies and then face to face with the first of the unused creatures. This wolf has no AI and is not seen anywhere else in the game, but is otherwise not very interesting. What is more interesting is this giant slime up here, which behaves very oddly when touched. Past here to the south and down a series of slopes, we soon come to another unused enemy. This one having full AI and collision, which I'm going to promptly run away from in order to find yet another more interesting feature. The unfinished bridge, as it's called by the community. In the lore, the world of Tunic actually exists inside a video game, and some of the NPCs, including the librarian boss, have learned this. This bridge might be a little cheeky reference to that. To the west are some ruins high above the water which lead down to this podium which used to hold a blank manual page that, when obtained, would give the player page negative one of the manual. This was later removed and some say it was for stability reasons, but it's still mostly a mystery. Starting from the house again, it's a short walk down and over to a sword laying on the ground, but there doesn't seem to be anything different or unique about this sword. There are some bits or coin pickups, as well as some curious dead ends, as well as an unused knight enemy in the far north. But it's this gelatinous cube to the south which holds the most interest to those of us who like to, uh, explore. If carefully pushed to the top of the staircase, its physics misbehave and allow us to get out of bounds. However, I spent an hour or so running around the entire island, even falling off the ends of the world in an attempt to break things even further to discover anything else that might be hidden. And I wasn't able to find anything, but if you try this and discover anything new, please let us know down below in the comments. Keep in mind that if you get too close to certain level geometry, the collision will push you back up onto solid ground. 
Before I let you go, here's the full map of the dev world, complete with all points of interest. Again, if you explore this and find anything new, please do let us know down below. Like I said, we don't know if this place is hiding any secrets or even if we were meant to discover it, but if the rest of the game is any indication, the answer to both of those is yes. Anyway, thank you for watching until the end. Have a great day and happy hunting.